In this video, we will be looking at round tubing and the differences between normal to surface cutting and true to surface cutting. When cutting using the normal to surface cutting process, the laser head is positioned exactly 90 degrees to the surface of the wall of the round tubing. As seen here, the tubing is being cut quickly and efficiently using the normal to surface cutting process because the head of the laser is positioned at a 90 degree angle from the wall of the round tubing. The end result is a part that looks like this. Notice that the normal to surface part inside edge has a bevel, unlike the true to surface or machine part which does not have a bevel. With the circumference test, you can see that the normal to surface part has a bevel, which creates a slight gap between the surface of the small rod and the inside of the hole. When laid flat, the normal to surface part's bevel can be seen again as seen by the gap between the edge of the part and the table. Now when the round tubing is being cut using the true to surface cutting process, the laser must be reoriented to a 45 degree angle from the surface of the part. This is less than ideal because it increases the cut time and reduces the laser's efficiency, thus increasing the cost of the part. You can see here that the true to surface part or machine part does not present any gaps in the circumference test. And when the part is laid flat, its edge sits flush with the surface of the table. 